Oh, seven commanders, my name is Blitz and in this video I'm gonna review Elite Dangerous Odyssey and a different aspect of the gameplay to determine whether or not you should be spending that 40 bucks to buy the expansion. So let's get started. We start with the on foot gameplay. The first thing that comes to mind on the on foot gameplay part of Odyssey is the instancing. Instancing in Odyssey is like pulling teeth from a dead dinosaur, even after 4 updates. Hence why they delayed the 5th update, speculations, because the instancing still have some issues and in the update number 5 they're gonna release the wing missions on foot, in which the instancing is very essential. And I really hope for the sake of the community that FDEV will get it right this time, as the 5th update might be the only update that launches without hitches, unlike the other 4 updates that were rigged with bugs and issues, and most of them was the instancing that hasn't been fixed yet. Next up we go through the on foot combat gameplay of the Ali Dangerous Odyssey known as the on foot conflict zone. In the on foot conflict zone as a starter player you have a decent chance of being able to make money and also gaining some experience in the low intensity and medium intensity conflict zones. But if you want to go to the high intensity conflict zones Having a high grade gears and upgraded gears is really recommended as you will be facing against super NPCs that have high grade equipment and they will kick your teeth in in a heartbeat. Still on the bright side you can be able to gain a lot of experience through the low intensity and medium intensity conflict zone as well make a decent amount of money from the combat bonds and gain reputation with the faction that you were fighting for. The next part of this gameplay is gonna be the material farming and looting and doing missions. Doing missions is well pretty much the usual as in Horizon. Uh, the only element that you need to pay attention to is you have to be stealthy no matter what you do and in some missions triggering an alarm will cause a mission failure. One thing to pay attention to commanders is when you die during a mission you will fail that said mission. It doesn't matter how you died, even if you die from an explosion or die from asphyxiation due to power loss and oxygen loss, you will fail that mission. One other condition is for covert mission, when you raise an alarm, you will fail the mission automatically and you have to discard it from your transaction so you can clear it from your mission board. Other than that, the material farming is not that big of a grind or huge of a grind as most people can make it. It can be pretty much easy if you know what you are doing and I believe my friend Hawks from Hawks Gaming has made a few videos on that that will give you a lot of infos. The only thing left is unlocking the engineers for Elite Dangerous Odyssey. Unlocking the engineers for Elite Dangerous Odyssey may not be the hardest task but for some engineers it is. For example, we have the engineer named Kit Fowler that requires you to bring 20 opinion poles that was formally reduced from 40 and uh, those opinion poles are one of the most rarest drop in the game and they're really hard to get. Most likely because of the junk materials that uh, keep spawning in the game. As for the rest of the engineers, they're pretty much cut and dry. They can be easily unlocked by delivering some materials or farming for some canister and I believe as usual my friend Hawks from Hawks Gaming has a video on that. The only engineer that we haven't unlocked yet was Yarden Bond. It requires the smear campaign and it has been determined by myself and Hawks and a few members of our discord server that smear campaign are no longer obtainable in game. Regardless of what FDiv might say that they are rare or something it has been determined that they are not obtainable due to a bug with the engineer and hopefully they will be available at update number 5. Other than that, the gameplay is pretty much cut and dry. The only issue, as I said, is once you run through all the engineers and run all through the upgrades, the weapons, there is nothing more left to do in the game and that is the end of it. So basically, in three weeks, I reached the end of the line and I have nothing else to do other than just doing conflict zone and ranking up, which is pretty much boring. I didn't go through the uh, exploration and bio exploration stuff because it is by itself boring since going through the bio sites and scanning them with this with the goop scoop or known the genetic sampler is even more pain in the butt than I think it, it should be and yeah I just didn't bother with it. In the next part of this video I'm gonna be reviewing the space part 
the space gameplay of the Elite Dangerous Odyssey, in which one issue is the galaxy looks dark. It's dark, and it should get it should use a little bit of a gamma. But hey, one more thing to add is in the space gameplay you don't get frame drops as you get in the uh, on foot gameplay. But this is the uh, performance issue that has been already known. But yeah, we have nothing to do add to that. Moving on to the combat aspect of Elite Dangerous Odyssey in space, combat bond and bounties have been adjusted to reflect on a higher value from targets. In addition, the low res and high res and medium res and health res sites have been greatly improved so that the enemies are more aggressive and shooting you more often. One other part in Elite Dangerous Odyssey is having the team instance together and of course the instancing is as usual with the on foot counterpart it is as pulling teeth from a dead dinosaur but still if you get lucky and manage to instance together with your teammate you will be able to have your teammate in your ship and at the same time have two team members with their own ships so basically you will be able to wing up with three ships and four people and that is something nice to do as for mining economy it hasn't been changed much since Horizons, so nothing more to add there. The usual mining, the laser rocks, the only thing that's changed is the shape of the rocks. They're bright, they're rocky, and they're high definition. So in a nutshell, Commander, would I recommend you to play Elite Dangerous Odyssey and get on the black with all the other commanders? Well, I would hold off on that. Recommendation is to hold off on that and wait for the console release not the update 5 but the console release since after the console release supposedly the game will be stable enough to run and already had to go gone through all the performance optimization and all the major bugs that makes the game almost unplayable that's it commanders i hope you enjoyed this video and see you in the black peace